Dental radiographic exams are one of the primary diagnostic tools to determine disease states and to formulate the appropriate treatment. Radiographs should be prescribed according to selection criteria guidelines. These guidelines are based on a variety of factors, including the patient's medical and dental history, clinical signs and symptoms of disease, risk factors, age and dentition, and new or recall status. Dental radiographs are valued diagnostic tools when the image quality is adequate enough for proper interpretation. To do this, it is imperative to correctly place the image receptor in the mouth and ensure that the primary x-ray beam is centered and aligned correctly in both the vertical and horizontal angulations. At this time, it is crucial to minimize patient exposure to radiation. Successful images require the use of careful technique and precautions to maximize their diagnostic and interpretive value. This video is provided by Densupply Serona and is to be used as a guide to enhance the clinician's skill in acquiring quality radiographs. This informational guide is not intended as a replacement for the Directions for Use manual for any product shown. Always check your manufacturer's guidelines for recommended use of equipment. The paralleling technique is used for both periapical and bite wing radiographs and is the most accurate technique for taking these projections. Receptor instruments with X-ray beam ring guides improve the accuracy of the PID alignment to ensure correct beam angulation and centering. Receptor instruments combine a receptor holder with an arm that has an attached ring indicating the position for the PID. This helps the operator avoid cone cut errors by specifically directing the X-ray beam toward the center of the receptor. The bisecting angle technique is an alternate approach for periapical radiography. With this technique, the receptor is placed diagonal to the long axis plane of the teeth. The beam is then directed at a right angle to a plane that is midway between the receptor and the teeth. This method produces less optimal images because the receptor and teeth are not in the same vertical plane. However, it is a useful method when ideal receptor placement cannot be achieved due to anatomical obstacles or placement difficulties. This technique is more operator sensitive. If the angle is not correctly divided, elongation or foreshortening will occur. A variety of holders can be used for accurate positioning of the receptor in different locations in the mouth. Technique adaptations may be required due to anatomical considerations or to avoid patient discomfort. These anatomical considerations include shallow palates, narrow arches, the presence of tori, and the loss of alveolar bone. Selecting the bisecting angle technique instead of the paralleling technique is useful in the case of shallow palates and gaggers as well as high palatal vaults. The Snapray DS sensor holder allows you to quickly load and place digital sensors for accurate periapical radiographs. The clinician can utilize an optional 2-in-1 Snapray DS arm and ring kit for easy alignment. There are two arms available. One has an angle to it for capturing images on patients with anatomical challenges such as a shallow palate. The arm and ring allows the clinician to utilize the paralleling technique as well as bisecting the angle with this holder system. The universal design works with all sensor sizes. It is autoclavable and has a rigid design which prevents flexing and a soft overmolding which is gentle to the sensor case. The Snap Array DS holder has an endodontic implant version available with a cutout bite surface for these applications. After placing the sensor in a RIN universal sensor cover, release the sliding mechanism and place the sensor vertically, ensuring the active portion of the sensor is facing the solid plastic portion and the cord will be coming out the back. The Snap Array DS holder can be used with an arm and ring attachment. The sensor should be placed behind the teeth of interest to be radiographed with the lower portion of the sensor up against the incisal edges for the bisecting technique. Once again, the x-ray beam is directed to pass between the contacts of the teeth being radiographed in the horizontal dimension, just as it is in the paralleling technique. The vertical angle, however, must be directed at 90 degrees to the imaginary bisecting line. 
Too much vertical angulation will produce images that are too short or foreshortened, and too little vertical angulation will result in images that are too long or elongated. The beam must be centered to prevent cone cutting. For periapicals of the posterior teeth, using the Snap Array DS holder, place the sensor in the RIN Universal Sensor Cover, slide the movable handle down so that the scissor-like tongs open. Insert the sensor through the opened handle so that the cord will be contained within this area. Place the sensor horizontally within the cushioned grips and slide closed the movable handle piece. Ensure the sensor is secure in the holder with the active portion facing the biting deck. The mesial portion or base of the sensor, where the cord's attachment is, should be lined up with the marked guide to help with alignment. Place the sensor behind the teeth of interest and have the patient close slowly. Utilize the purple guide to help align the PID edge so that the clinician avoids horizontal angulation errors. The Snap Array DS holder for endo allows the clinician to capture radiographs during an endodontic procedure. The biting platform on the endodontic Snap Array DS holder has a unique cutout platform so that the patient can close fully without disrupting the endodontic files. For periapicals of the posterior teeth, using the Snap Array DS for endo holder, place the sensor in the RIN Universal Sensor Cover. For posterior periapicals, slide the movable handle down so that the scissor-like tongs open. Insert the sensor through the opened handle so that the cord will be contained within this area. Place the sensor horizontally within the cushion grips and slide close the movable handle piece. Ensure the sensor is secure in the holder with the active portion facing the biting deck. Gently place the sensor behind the endodontic treatment area and have the patient close slowly. Utilize the purple guide to help align the PID edge so that the clinician avoids horizontal angulation errors. The clinician should be careful of the cord and often can place the cord behind the canine and premolar to avoid unnecessary damage. Thank you for viewing this instructional educational video brought to you by Dent Supplies Serona.